Hello and welcome to a workout six. So it's dumbbells today, also alternatives with the TheraBand. You'll need the TheraBand for the warm up too. So just getting that ready, getting the playlist teed up. So standing on the band to start with then. And it's little squats, first of all, keeping those elbows next to the body as you do a bicep curl and then take those arms out to the side, and back to the middle. So normally I say to keep your body nice and still um, when you do bicep curls, but for this, we're just warming up. You can still keep a good posture just as you bend those elbows. And now into a pulse, a slight bend in the knees as well, just to put that core in a strong position. Little pulses, arms overhead if you can. Now just be a bit aware here as you go around in a circle to keep that back nice and straight. Slight bend in the knees again, just to protect that back. And those hamstrings and punching one side now up towards the ceiling and then to the other side punch 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 and then out in front lovely so keep those elbows away from the body and then making sure you don't come too far forward as you bring those arms out it'll just activate those lower abdominals especially lat raise then same idea you're just going to bob from side to side twist that body but no collapsing as you do. Yeah, it's almost, we're just using the elasticity in the body to help propel that band up. Little pulses, lat raise pulses, squeezing those shoulder blades together, bend those knees so you don't um, arch the spine and down and round again. So just taking your time and then back around the other way. And then shoulder press. Good, just not forcing it if you're not able to go the full extension, often depends on strength of the bands. Now out to the side, out to the middle, out to the side. You're just gonna keep rotating around those movements. Great stuff. Okay, and release the band. And now into a chest open, that's it, little pulses. The band pull apart, squeezing that pencil between the shoulder blades, tucking that tailbone under. Gentle bend in the knees. Okay, squatting down a little bit now as you come round. Good, so just enjoying the stretch and the opening that you feel, especially in that upper body now. And doing our press to one side, straight up and press to the other side. Fantastic. Lunging now, so making sure if you're lunging forward with your left, you twist over that top that leg so you twist the left as well same for the right coming up in the middle making sure that you're not lunging too far forward just going as deep as what you can control well done good stuff okay so straight in then five times 60 seconds on 30 seconds rest um yeah pop that random playlist on now if you want or use your own music just a demo to start with here then so just a little word, if you do have a bad knee at all, obviously there's the option too, but you can also just do the lunge without having your foot up on the chair behind you. It just puts that little bit more strain through both the front and the back leg once you have that, um, that foot up on the chair. So about ready to start now, guys, getting in position. Off we go. A minute on each side. So keep making sure that that chest stays nice and proud. When you lunge, you're gonna lunge down and back and just keep that knee in line with the toes. With the um, calf raise on option two, it's also all about balance as well. Um, just going as high as you can in that supporting leg. And then here, this is just to show you how it's important to keep the knee in line with the foot in option one there. Otherwise, keep going guys, got 20 seconds to go. Yeah, so making sure that as you tire that you don't collapse too quickly in the foot on option two. Controlled, last five seconds. Okay, and rest. So we're all gonna do the same one here now. There's no knee bending involved. You can do this one with a band, but otherwise if you have some light dumbbells, mainly about shoulder posture. So there's three elements to it. There's the twist forward in the middle, 
press overhead and then there's a nice open bicep curl. So as ever, there is a temptation when you do overhead stuff just to um, arch the back. But we're gonna make sure that we try and stay as strong as we can in that pelvis as you just rotate around, strengthening those shoulders, that upper body posture. So often we get closed off in the upper body due to our sedentary computer e <laughs> tablety screeny lifestyles. Um, but this will just help to reverse that. I used to get some pain in my upper back, particularly after cooking. Whereas doing exercises like this just strengthen the area up and it's, it's absolutely fine now. So nearly there guys, 20 more seconds to go. Keep pressing light, well, it in your posture, <laughs> not light on your feet. Head stays in line with the spine. Good, hopefully really feeling it between those shoulder blades and rest. Okay, so the next one, then we're gonna go back to the dumbbell lunges again. Other leg this time, hopefully you've remembered which one. <laughs> I often um, get a bit muddled up because the back leg works very hard here as well. So it might kind of feel like, oh, you know, the back leg worked harder. You assumed it was at the front, but it wasn't. Um, anyway, hopefully you've remembered just from what it looked like, as well as felt like. Okay. So lunges or the calf raises, obviously. Just noticing any differences, maybe from the first side as well. Yeah, any instability or flexibility issues in the hip. Obviously strength as well, just thinking about that. Making sure you have that good alignment. It's especially tempting on the lunge to move forward in that torso. As I say, just thinking about lunging down and back rather than forward. And then lovely little calf raises there as well. Nice and controlled. It's mainly about going fast on the way up and then slow on the way down. Keep going, last five seconds. Two, one, and rest. Lovely. Okay, we're gonna do leg lowers now. Uh, so this gets really quite intense when you have that weight between your legs. So it's good to give it a go if you do have a small dumbbell like that. It's not really an alternative with the band if you wrap it around your feet, because it actually makes it a lot easier having the band, it almost helps you. So either do it with a weight or just do it with body weight for this one. Um, so as straight as you can with those legs, obviously bend them if you feel like your lower back is moving. So if you can, just sandwich the lower back against the mat and try to keep that as your like, guide. Um, if, if you have a, a bit of an arch in your lower back, just make sure that you don't arch any more as you lower those legs down. So this is good, really good, especially for those lower abdominals, which are the main important ones when it comes to posture. You can push down into the floor with your hands just to help stable, stabilize a little bit. Especially if you have a weight in your legs, quite often it almost imbalances you and, and brings the upper body off the floor. So just resisting that with the hands. Really start to kick in now guys, you've got 10 seconds to go. Controlled lowers really overloading those abs and rest fantastic work okay so last exercise coming up now takes a little bit of setup this one but it's where you put your shoulders on a chair or on a bed or on a sofa and then you're going to extend a weight overhead again difficult to find an alternative here with the band it was just any heavy objects that you have. And as you extend those arms overhead, you extend one leg and then the other leg. So just get comfortable on your seat of choice or bed of choice. <laughs> and then extending over. So just making sure that not all of the upper body 
is on that supporting surface yeah because we want to really encourage you to use your glute and use your lower abdominals to hold that body up just adjusting and then taking your time as you lift trying to aim for that straight line it may well be tricky for the balance especially to start with and this is one where you really will notice a difference from one side to the other potentially if you like me are imbalanced but it's a good one for ironing out those imbalances as well so keep going squeezing those glutes protecting that lower back and rest well done so i do recommend that you can go back through that maybe two or three times you can also do it where you just do 30 seconds on each and then um just skip the recovery um so yeah into pliers though so this is where it's nice and bouncy off the ground so we're working on developing the foot strength also posture but just an awareness of the energy now guys okay so um just bouncing nice and light just swinging those arms i've just shown you bad posture here just so you can notice the difference when you have poor posture as opposed to being in that position to use that elasticity so tap from side to side now imagine you're stepping over a hurdle in the middle of the mat good step and tap so you can do your own version of this guys as well but the principles are just strong feet nice and bouncy good alignment so here i'm closing my eyes just so i can really get a feel for the energy in that uh, that nice rebound off the floor just loosen those shoulders as well you're just going to come and lift alternate knees now keep going keep going keep flowing well done nice and bouncy just relaxed arms letting go of that tension okay now we're going to imagine you've got little hurdles on the floor and you're just jumping over those hurdles big bounce little bounce just rebounding well done using those arms to help as well little bounce big bounce down those mats okay <laughs> this is uh, one of my favorite dance moves <laughs> so cross in the middle and then open out to one side it's just a really nice one to sort of feel for that almost elastic thread as you're just bouncing from one side to the other well done well done no use that on the dance floor rent free <laughs> right um stretching out your calves good keeping both feet facing forward excellent and then just finishing off now with some big jumps little jumps yeah so really pinging those heels up towards the bum and hops now mini hops just straight and then you're going to go from side to side yeah good just developing that balance a little bit and then last one now hop and side to side off we go well done that's it feeling for that energy feeling for the beat okay shaking out little shimmy well done guys well done so time to stretch now we need the band for this one and i'll just do the explanation as well and the band for this stretch track and just a little warning as we move it here which if you have any problems or you feel it twisting at the second like you do with this and just do your nostrils in Okay, so a nice song here by Kings of Leon. Just going to bend and straighten those knees, just nod the head down just gently so that you create a nice stretch down the back of the body, but it should never be too much also that it hurts okay you don't want pins and needles down the legs but reaching towards those toes if you can don't worry if not 
just keeping um, hold of your shins, keeping that stretch down the back of the body. Okay, and we're going to come into a hurdle stretch now, where one leg is straight, one is bent, and then you're just going to gracefully drape your body away from that bent knee side. And then just notice here how you're just going to rock forward and back a little bit. Just adjusting that stretch, noticing how it changes. Wonderful. And then switch sides now. Just taking your time. Great. Nice 90 degree bend. And then draping the body over, backwards and forward. That's it. Keep going. Keep flowing. Nice open chest. Fantastic. Good, good, good. Okay, so this is where we do the challenging stretch if you can with those knees, but other than otherwise, just feet together as you lay back. It's very difficult to get the back on the floor as you do this, but it's still a really good stretch if you're doing this version to get into those hip flexors. Holding here now, there's a lot of holds in this stretch track, and then releasing. This is where you grab your band, you're going to wrap it around one foot. You might want to do it double, depending on the strength of your band. It just helps to add a bit of an extra stretch without you having to pull more yourself. So, ideally, if you're a runner, you want to aim for 90 degrees in those legs, or just maybe slightly more. Just going to do little gentle pulls towards you. Again, a stretch should never hurt though, guys, so just take your time. Circling that ankle then now as well. You might notice it's a bit tight down the side of the shins there. And then just taking that leg across the body and looking away from the legs so that you create a nice twist through that spine. Just adjusting the movement so that you can get most relaxed in this position to encourage the spine to let go and open. Band around both feet now, and you're just going to take them overhead so you get an extra stretch down through the back of the body into those nerves, into those muscles. Little gentle rocks in this position as well. And now just releasing. You're going to do the stretch on the other hamstring now. So it's just nice and straight to start with, just the gentle, gentle opens as you pull and release that leg. Circling the ankle again. Noticing how much you need to do this more. <laughs> well done. And then taking the leg across the body, arm out to the side, look towards that hand. Create that lovely stretch. So if you can keep that sense of the 90 degrees in those legs, that's great. But if you need to reduce the angle, then that's also fine. Trying to keep those shoulders on the floor. Okay, band back around those feet. This time you're going to come into the frog stretch. So yeah, the band's not doing an awful lot here, but it just helps to bring those feet a bit closer to the bum as you then butterfly those knees out. Now you're just gonna pull them off the floor and create just a little bit of a sense of opening in those hips. Okay, and then again, releasing that band, stretching long, rolling onto your front now. Gonna finish off just with a little bit of a cobra, which is where we're going to open the front of the body, looking up towards the ceiling. You can do this on your elbows if it's too much to do it on your hands. And then rocking gently from side to side. You might also feel this in your hips a little bit. Shouldn't feel it too much in the lower back. Now reach those feet towards the head. I used to be able to get my feet to my head. <laughs> a bit depressing now, I'm so far away, but it's fine. Anyway, twisting feet in and out, in and out. Yeah, and coming back into child. So those last few beats are just reversing that deep spine stretch now. Little rocks from side to side. Forehead on the mat. And hold 
hold that position there for a bit longer if you want but otherwise well done guys you made it to the end great workout i hope you've enjoyed it